Okay, dear friends, we are here again to come to the Van Hop, the machine. Today, we've been looking at、uh, is Web Machine N7, and I will add the link into the description section below so that you can download it. Before we begin today's video, if you don't mind, please follow my channel and leave a like below. This will help me very much. So, with that said, we now can begin our journey. As you can see, I've already done the map scanning with options like sync scan, the virtual scan, the default script scan, and also the comprehensive scan. So, from the map scanning results, as you can see here, there is just only one open port, which is eighty. In the running HTTP service and also the actual version information. So what we are going to do next is to do emulation for the for this port number. Let's open up our browser and put the IP address of the packet into the address bar of the browser. Welcome in block. This is the first block. In the very simple words, and we can check the source code of this page, but、uh, this cannot reveal any more useful information. Next, we need to check. Of course, we need to walk through the major links inside this page. For example, like a profile, but、uh, this one we got the empty response, and also we can check the source code again. Nothing there, so I think we need to check whether this side has a robot file, right? But another font, which is fine. Then we need to use the link to to do some emulation, for example, like、um, mis misconfiguration. Some vulnerabilities or some common files or directories. So this is very important too for the web application emulation. But、uh, this time, we cannot get any useful information. Next, we need to use the GoBuster to do some directory emulation. Yeah, IP address is correct. And as usual, I'd like to use the word list of dear buster and directory. And、uh, as always, I'd like to specify the extension options. Txt HTML back JS JavaScript. I don't want to miss any important information, and this process will take a bit of while. Oh yeah, we have already got the this one. I think we need to check this file manually, so we can go back to our browser. Let's visit this one, and we need to upload the file. Of course,、uh, before we move forward, yeah, this machine doesn't、uh, want us to 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 get the root privilege or re retrieve the root flag. We the only thing we need to do is to get the entire flag. Okay. So now we can go back. We need to prepare some sort of files like、um, the reverse PHP reverse file. And we can copy from the my two sets, and we need to make some modification to change IP address to the our Kali Linux. And、uh, I think、uh, I this machine do not need doesn't need we do not need to. Yeah, get a shell 
and all. We just、uh, have some sort of file, any files ready. Now we can go back to our browser, and、uh, go to our working directory, which is web machine, and click open, submit, but unable connect. So we need to make a de detailed check on this one. We can check the source code. As you can see, although yeah, there is a form inside the HTML code of this page, but the action, the action URL is is to submit to the local host. Of course, this will not work at all. So how to bypass this one? We need to. Modify the action URL, and we can go back to the browser. I think this will be very easy. We just、uh, locate this section, and here we can make some modification. To the target IP address, right? Okay, now we can submit. Yeah, we got the first part of this flag. Okay, so what we need to do now? We need to do some more immersion. We need to find out、uh, another important directory. The name is Enter Network. But to be honest, I used. So many different word list. For example, inside the second list or the default word list inside the Canonix, but、uh, all failed to to find this directory. I I don't know why some guy can find this directory.、Uh, yeah, I'm sure which word list they use to emulate、uh, this information. But anyway, we assume that we have already found this directory by some sort of the word list. So now we can go back to our browser and visit this directory network. Yeah, as you can see, the present as the login. And we can try if the we can use the admin and admin send, but failed. And also we can try if we can use the login bypass techniques, for example, like this one and send, but failed. So next we need to use the SQL map to test. The SQL injection vulnerability. To do that, I prefer to use the Bubble Suite to intercept the request, and then、um, run the SQL map. I show you. Now, first we need to set the proxy to be Bubble Suite, and then we can launch. Of course, I have already launched, but we need to in we need to configure intercept option to be on. Now we need to launch or trigger the request again, and this time, yeah, Bubble Suite can intercept the request. I mean the refresh, the fresh request, and then we can copy to file, and we can name this to, for example, like IEQ txt, save, and now. We can go back to our terminal. Next, we need to use the SQL map to run this vulnerability injection test. Let's hit enter. Yeah, because I have already run run this command earlier, so it will go through very、uh, very quickly. But、uh, if you if you do this, yeah, you will take you it will take you very long time. We need to do the time based、uh, injection testing, okay? 
But、uh, here we can know. Yeah, the backend is MySQL database. Now we need to know the databases on the target. Yeah, we got、uh, several database like、uh, information schema. This is a very default one. We I we cannot get. We do not need to get information from this database. I think what we need to emulate is this one machine, and we can specify the database by capital or uppercase D, and the machine, and we need to know how many tables with this database. Yeah, we just、uh, only one table, which is fine, and then we can, yeah, can to know how many columns. You know, maybe we we are not interested in some of the sum of columns, so we need to know the this information, the three columns for this table, and now we can specify. Of course, I. I want to dump all、uh, data of these three columns. Let's hit enter. Yeah, very quick. But I can tell you, when yeah, I'd like to mention again. If you do it yourself, it will take you a very long time. Okay, maybe maybe thirty minutes. So I, I th so far as you can see, after we dump the data from the the table of logging. We can get the flag. The I think this is the entire flag. So that's pretty much it. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Have a a good day.